Ghost Pet and Purple, two great mattresses for the right type of person, but who's gonna win? Stay tuned to find out. Let's talk about what's similar between these two mattresses. Not a whole lot. They have a pretty similar base layer. They have a pretty bouncy, uh, responsive sleeping surface, and they're both firmer than average in my opinion. Let's talk about what's different between these two mattresses. Number one is price. The ghost bed is gonna be a little bit cheaper than the purple is. It's also gonna be a little bit thicker overall. There's gonna be some material differences as well. You have this hyperelastic polymer that's on top of the purple. It's both pressure relieving and supportive at the same time. Then you have latex over memory foam with the ghost bed. There's also gonna be some feel differences. You're gonna have this very unique pressure relieving, squishy, yet supportive at the same time, hyperelastic polymer feel from the purple and more of a balanced foam feel overall with the ghost bed. There's gonna be some firmness differences as well. I think the ghost bed's gonna be a little bit firmer than the purple is. Let's talk about the construction of both mattresses and what the differences are. If you wanna go really into the details here, I'd encourage you to check out both the written and video reviews of both of these mattresses that we have on our channel. So starting with the cover, nice and, nice and soft, uh, thin cover. It's not gonna really affect the feel too much. But let's start with the purple mattress here. The key really here is the top two inches of this hyperelastic polymer gel material. It's very squishy. Um, the way it works is that it stays flat and supportive until a certain pressure threshold is reached, then it collapses. So it's a really good fit for all three sleeping positions because of that, where you're on your stomach and back and it can stay flat and supportive, but the gel can collapse underneath your hips and shoulders when you're on your side. Moving on to the ghost bed, it's more of a standard all foam mattress, has a nice thick base layer, and has latex over memory foam. Uses high density foam, so it should be nice and supportive for heavier sleepers and can be a pretty durable mattress as well. So you can get some bounce from the memory, uh, from the latex that is, and then get pressure relief from the memory foam. So it's a nice balanced overall feel. It's a little bit firmer than average, I would say, um, especially compared to the purple, but we'll talk about that in a second. So as far as durability is concerned, I would say it's about a tie. As far as breathability is concerned, I would say it's about a tie as well. You just have a lot of room for air to flow in both mattresses. But really the feel is just gonna come down to just kind of a standard foam feel, latex over memory foam, where you get some bounce versus this squishy, pressure relieving, yet supportive um, hyperelastic polymer from the purple mattress. Let's talk about differences in firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I put the ghost bed at a seven half out of 10 and the purple at a seven out of 10. I definitely think at a minimum, the ghost bed is gonna be firmer than the purple is. I think most would agree with that. As far as feel is concerned, again, this hyperelastic polymer is really the key to the purple. It's kind of squishy, a gel-like material. It's pressure relieving, yet supportive at the same time. So it's a unique feel that's kind of hard to describe. Whereas the ghost bed is a little bit bouncy, has memory foam in it, so it's kind of a balanced foam feel overall. As far as bounce is concerned, if you drop your lacrosse ball on each one, you see that there is some bounce, so there are some similarities there. But I would say it's a little bit different of a feel, a balanced foam feel over this kind of squishy, pressure relieving, yet supportive at the same time feel with the purple mattress. I'm gonna talk through how I feel different sleeping positions. Uh, starting on my back, on the purple, I found to be a good match for me from a support perspective. On the ghost bed, also found to be a very good match. It allows my hips to sink in just a little bit, uh, conforms well to the curves of my body, and then just kind of holds me up other than that. Switching to my side on the purple, I found to be pretty pressure relieving. Definitely more so than the ghost bed, I found the ghost bed to be just a little bit too firm for me while on my side. Switching onto my stomach now on the purple, it's definitely a good match for me there from a sport perspective. Ghost bed as well, it's a little bit firmer than that average, which is really ideal for stomach sleeping, so it was a good match for me there as well. So in summary, I would say it's probably about a tie as far as suitability for back and stomach sleeping, and I'd probably prefer the purple for side sleeping. Talked about construction differences and differences in firmness and feel. I wanna give you now a very objective test that shows exactly how well each mattress leaves pressure. We do that with a pressure map test. So I get down on a pressure map, I lay down on my backside and stomach, and what really matters is the side sleeping results. You'll see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. So if we throw up the results here, you'll see that purple wins by just a little bit. That makes sense to me. I think it's a little bit softer. That gel material is able to collapse underneath my hips and shoulders a little bit more. So it makes sense to me that it relieves pressure a little bit better than the ghost bed does. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe's 5'9", 160, I'm 6'7", 230. I'm definitely a heavier person. I wanna give my experience with these two mattresses. So today we have the Ghost Bed and the Purple Original Mattress. In terms of firmness, I said the Ghost Bed was an 8.5 out of 10. The Purple here is a 6.5 out of 10. It's a pretty big difference there. I think the main reason for that is gonna be my size. With the Ghost Bed, I'm definitely pressing through the soft layers and feeling the firmer layers beneath. I'm kind of bottoming out a little bit on that mattress, feeling it to be firmer than Joe felt it was. On the purple, the opposite experience. I'm actually activating this gel layer more than he did. It's actually feeling softer to me than it did to him. 
So sleeping positions on the ghost bed. Good support right on my back. Moving to my side, again, I'm pressing through the mattress, definitely feel some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Moving to my stomach, I'm definitely feeling good overall support there as well. Over on the purple on my back, very good on my back. I definitely have butt sink in just the right amount. I'm also kept nice and supported across the rest of my body. Moving to my side, great pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. On my stomach, also good overall support. So between the two mattresses, I believe if you're a back sleeper, I lean more towards the purple. If you're a heavier side sleeper, I would lean more towards the purple as well. If you're a heavier stomach sleeper, I would lean more towards the ghost bed. If you sleep with a partner, there's two additional things you're gonna to wanna to consider when looking at a mattress. That's motion transfer and edge support. Motion transfer is basically, if your partner is moving around on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna be isolated or is it gonna transfer to you and possibly wake you up at night? Edge support is, can you sit on the edge of the bed? Can you sleep towards the edge of the bed without feeling like you're gonna fall off? So as far as motion transfer is concerned, I would probably give purple a little bit of the advantage. It just seems to be doing a little bit better of a job at isolating motion. As far as edge support is concerned, I'd probably give the advantage to ghost bed. It's a little bit firmer, so I think it's just a little bit better with edge support. So you might be thinking, Joe, that's a lot of great information, but can you please just tell me which one should I get? In this particular case, it's pretty hard to say exactly what type of sleeper should get one over the other. As far as who should get the ghost bed, it is a little bit firmer. I think most would agree. So if you just want something that's a little bit firmer, then potentially that could be the way to go. It's also more of just a standard balanced foam feel where you get some bounce, you get some good pressure relief, you sink into it, but not too much. So if that's kind of what you're looking for, then it could be the way to go. And if you're a back and stomach sleeper, I would say it's pretty similar between the purple and the ghost bed. So if you want to save a couple hundred bucks and you really can't decide, then the ghost bed is the way to go. As far as who should get the purple, I think if you're willing to take a jump on this really cool, unique concept of squishy, pressure relieving, yet supportive at the same time feel, purple could be great for you. Uh, also, if you sleep on your side, I think it's better at relieving pressure. And I think if you kind of switch positions at night, just a very good job of addressing all three sleeping positions. All right, to wrap up, hopefully I've given you a good overview of the construction of both mattresses and what the similarities and differences are. If you're still confused, you can simply leave a comment below, tell me a little bit about yourself and I can give you a personal recommendation. If you're just getting started with your research, definitely head in over to mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see a list of our top picks, you can simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress. Once again, let me know if you have any questions.